<coughs> I'm John Braben of Smith Cattle Well, and I'd just like to give you all a very warm welcome to, uh, to our institute and to this haptic symposium, uh, which is, as you know, in honor of Val Moran. We're really uh, honored and grateful to have such a large attendance today, and I know that uh, we actually have been fortunate in getting most of the top experts in this field uh, in one room, and many of you have traveled from very far away to be with us today. I know we, for a fact we have people as well as California. We have people from Colorado, Kentucky, Illinois, Maine, Maryland, Michigan, Minnesota, and everything else beginning with M. It's <laughs> probably other ones that I, that I don't know. I think everyone here knew and, uh, and or has been touched personally by the influence of Val Morash, in whose honor we're holding this symposium. Val was a, a true pioneer in starting a new generation of objective research into tactile and haptic applications for blind people. We're all still feeling the pain of losing such a wonderful, brilliant young scientist who was also the most helpful, pleasant, and collaborative colleague possible. She would be pleased and proud that so many are gathered here today to address the field that was closest to her heart. The goal of this symposium is to discuss the state of the art of uh, haptics and tactile applications for blind people, to identify outstanding problems in the field that need to be addressed, and to promote more interest in this important and somewhat neglected field. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all the people who have helped organize uh, this event. And uh, I'll probably miss some of them, but first of all, Natalie Stevens, a close collaborator of Val's, uh, who spearheaded the whole effort. Also, let's <laughs> have as also our organizing committee, uh, Daisy Lay, Josh Mealy, and James Coughlin, who are down the front here. Marilyn Tweet, uh, our staff, among her many hats, is our event organizer at Smith Catterwell, and the, her team members, including uh, Linda, Brianna, and Bruce, uh, who did the lion's share of the logistics and getting everything set up for us here today and have been here for, since 6 a.m. this morning. Uh, there's also our engineer and AV expert, Al Lotzi, down the back there, without whom nothing would work. It gives me a really great pleasure to hand everything over to Natalie as the overall, she's the overall leader, organizer, and she'll be the moderator for, the, uh, for all of today's event. So let's hear it for Natalie. Thanks so much, John. Um, so as John mentioned, my name is Natalie. Um, I'm a fourth year PhD candidate at UC Berkeley. Um, and I'm co-advised by uh, Dr. Deborah Oral Vixler, who's here with us today. And I was also advised by Val Marash. Um, as we all know, Val was a truly brilliant scientist. And as John mentioned, um, this symposium is meant to honor and remember her and her research, um, and while spurring interest in a field that she was so passionate about. Um, so just the overall structure of the symposium, um, there's three sections that span Val's research. So the first section is fundamentals and haptic perception. The second one is uh, haptic applications to education for the visually impaired. The third is haptic applications to assistive technology for the visually impaired. And in each section, there'll be a 20 minute keynote talk followed by a panel discussion and then a series of lightning talks, which are short eight minute presentations given um, by multiple individuals that are um, whose research kind of relates to those topics. Uh, I'll be keeping the time on these talks and be sitting right here and we'll be just holding up signs to keep the speakers on time. And Daisy also will be passing around a microphone to anybody who'd like to ask questions. Um, when you do have a microphone, just make sure that you turn it on before you speak because we are video recording this event and we have some transcribers here that are transcribing the event as well. Um, yes. 
that's a good point. So also, um, before you start speaking, it would be really helpful if you can please just say your name out loud so that um, everyone's aware of who's speaking and we can also have a record of that um, for the future.